Dutch is very easy to learn for everybody that speaks English already. Dutch and English are related. They're both Germanic languages. They're both influenced by Latin and by French. Um, so there are many words that we have in common. And they're just pronounced a bit differently. Um, but it's very easy to learn Dutch when you just think of your own English. For example, when you go to a bar in the Netherlands and you want to order a drink, you can say voor mij een glas water. That means for me a glass of water. Voor mij een glas water. And you can also say for him a glass beer. For him a glass of beer. And for her, and for her, a glass wijn. For her, a glass of wine. And another thing you um, you might want to order is lemonade, or that's limonade, or tea, that is tea, or coffee, that is coffee. So you hear the words are almost the same. So let's use the let's order a cup of coffee. Voor mij een kop koffie. For me a cup of coffee. Voor mij een kop koffie. Of voor mij een kop Day. For me, a cup of tea. For him, a cup coffee. For her, a glass limonade. For her, a glass of lemonade. You see how similar these words are? They're almost the same. They're, they're just pronounced a, a bit differently. And uh, in, in the spelling, there's a tiny differences as well, but you recognize it straight away. I'm, I'm sure about that, really. And the Dutch will be delighted if you talk a little bit of Dutch to them. And um, of course, everybody speaks English over here, but they will really enjoy it when you try to speak a bit of Dutch. For example, you go to the bakery, the bakker, and you want to buy bread, een brood. So, what can you say to the bakker, to the baker? You can say, voor mij een bruin brood. For me, a brown bread. Or you can say for me a wit brood. For me a white bread. And another part of today's lesson is how to introduce yourself in Dutch. In English you say my name is my name is Jolie, that's my name. And in Dutch you say, Mijn naam is Jolie. Wat is jouw naam? What is your name? So, in English you say, My name is, in Dutch you say, Mijn naam is. And your name. What is there's a cat here that wants to her name? Her name is Mietje. That's what is a cat? A, a cat in Dutch is a cat. Ja, Mies. Mies is the cat. 
Haar naam is Mies. Ja, jij wou op schoot zitten, Mies. Jij wou hier zitten, Mies. You wanted to sit here, Mies. Now you're part of the show. Yes. She doesn't want to be part of the show. I can imagine that. <laughs> oh well. Anyway. Wat is jouw naam? What is your name? In Dutch we have two forms. The respected form u and u. And the same level form je, jij, jou. Don't worry about it. If you use u, it's okay. If you use je, it's okay. The Dutch are very informal. And I think that even if you would say je to the king, he would not mind. He would be delighted that you took the time to learn Dutch. Really, I do believe that. So we started with voor mij een glas water. You can also say ik drink water. I drink water. Of or of means or. That's maybe a bit confusing. Sometimes you have words that are that sound exactly the same, that are even written the same. The word of in Dutch means or, and the word of in English means van, uh, belongs to. Uh, so th you have that every now and then. Uh, it happens in German, between D German and Dutch, it's even worse. It is so terrible that for a Dutch person, it's, it's very hard to uh, <laughs> to really know if you understand a, a German person well or if you are misunderstanding each other because the words are so similar but have a completely different meaning. But between English and Dutch that's sort of in balance. So coffee of tea. Coffee or tea. You see, it's almost the same, just the word of is different. Uh, so it doesn't mean that we create um, coffee out of tea. It just means coffee or tea. Wil je coffee of tea? Do you want coffee or tea? Wil je melk of water? Do you want milk or water? If you want more videos like this, just let me know in the comments what it should be about. Do you want to talk to somebody in a shop? Or do you want to talk to somebody um, in a museum? Well, most of the time they do speak English. They hire people that do speak English for the tourists. But just let me know what lesson it should be. And if I can, I'll try to make more lessons, more Dutch lessons for you. Okay, bye for now.